Well, let me describe this next little motor here first because this is another type of Tesla technology. This is called a Newman motor. And Joseph Newman also developed several different types of motors uh, that are that that take advantage of the, the, the discoveries of Nikola Tesla. And this is a very efficient little motor that's run. We've had it running for 24 hours on four D cells that have been too weak to even light up a flashlight light bulb. But even as weak as they were, they could run this little motor for 24 hours. So this motor requires very little energy to get it going. And Joseph Newman has made big motors that are powerful enough to run power plants or to run a home or to run a car. But his technology has never been uh, manufactured. At least it hasn't been manufactured on a wide scale yet. So what happens when you take that wire off? When you take this wire off right here, the motor just stops running. And you put it back on, and you have to give it a little bit of a spin, and it'll start going again. What's inside of the... I call this a flower pot motor because it was made with a, a four inch flower pot and uh, some cheap magnets that are in the center there. Let me stop it again and I'll show you. These are two uh, cheap magnets that have been attached to this shaft here. And what happens, the way it works is that when I put this wire on, when it comes in contact, half of, half of the shaft here has a piece of tape covering it so it's insulated and the wire doesn't make an electrical connection. When it spins to the other half, it completes the circuit and creates an electromagnet which causes this to spin. And because it's pulsing, the, the electromagnet is going on and off depending on the position of this shaft. It, uh, keeps, it keeps it spinning. And let's do this. Oh, it wants to spin the other way. So you just give it a little spin and it will keep on running. Oops. What's, 